loves welcome back to my channel it has been a little while since i did a video for you guys i end up taking a much needed break i wanted to focus my energy on a new project that i was doing and i wanted to share with you finally my big announcement as you can see i'm surrounded i'm giving a little clues here and there but i have been working on a project for i would say almost a year now a lot of ups and downs but I think it's finally time that I launch what it is that I wanted to launch and go for it, not wait till things are perfect. I think that's the big thing about being an artist. You always have that perfectionist side to you and I have to let go. I am launching as of today my new online store it is called koakaya i am so excited the reason why i called it koakaya is it means the brave one i wanted something that represented all women and to me being brave and bold and standing outside the box expressing yourself through fashion i think is one of the most important things i think that it makes life a little bit more exciting and to express yourself and be true to who you are so I'm going to talk about my store a little bit and then I'm going to show you some pieces. My store is basically all things to elevate your look. You know I love all of my accessories, whether it's in fashion or in home decor. I think adding an accessory can totally change your whole outfit, make your outfit and make it unique and fun and add that little twist without trying too hard. Anyway, I thought an accessories line, not only for your clothing but also home decor so it's sort of two things in one i have created handmade stuff that i have made myself sewing and also things for the home unique pieces that i find on my little adventures that i definitely know the value and i definitely think that they're beautiful and can look beautiful in any home so that's pretty much what my company is it's all about accessorizing and you know what you don't have to be this super stylish person i wanted to also show on my website made it a little bit more whimsical for the photo shoot but anybody can wear these pieces you can wear them with some jeans and a t-shirt over a simple black dress it doesn't have to be so I guess flamboyant as I am but I do think that my pieces will be timeless pieces and that you can wear any of the clothing that you have in your wardrobe and sort of change it up and elevate it just by using my accessories um, so I'm gonna share some of my favorite pieces I'm gonna show you how I wore them and how you can wear them grab yourself a coffee or I don't know something because this is going to be quite a long haul I had a hard time choosing, but I wanted to narrow it down, share with you my most favorite ones and the ones that you'll get so much more use out of. Let's jump right into this whole haul part. I'm going to start off with one of my most ass pieces. You have seen me wear a few. It is my headbands, sort of like my oversized halo headbands. It was really important because I love to wear either hats or I love to wear any type of accessory. You guys asked for it so I created it and it is these super cool halo headbands. I did some in so many different fabrics so you have a full of them to choose from. This is actually one of my favorites. This is the one that I love. I think it's the one that I tend to go to. This one and also the green one and also burgundy. Those are like my go-tos. It also comes with these faux suede ropes here with the little tassels. I wanted to make sure that each piece sits properly on different shaped heads. I have a really big head so to me it was fine but I know that some people have smaller heads, medium heads, bigger heads, and I wanted to make sure that they do stay in place and form to the fit of whatever shape head you have. So adding these tassels, if you don't feel comfortable with these tassels, you can always remove them, take them out, cut them. But I think that you put it on, tie it at the bottom of your neck, and it feels more secure on your head. You could dress it up, dress it down, wear it however you like. It's an accessory that you can wear for special occasions or you can wear if you're having a bad hair day with a simple outfit. So yeah, this is my first piece. My second piece is this. I think it's like a skirt, but it's not really a skirt. It's a wrap bodice. I think that it is so beautiful paired over a winter coat, a dress. It cinches in everything beautifully and adds a little bit of pop of accessory but without it being too much. I love that you can wrap it a couple times, let it hang long, or you can wrap it all the way to where the strap is a little bit shorter. This is one of my favorite pieces. I had designed and made this one 
thinking to put over my coat. I love the winter season because you can have fun layering with pieces. In the summertime, you can layer, but just obviously not as much. This was my first piece that I had created. I am so proud of it because it's exactly what I had envisioned. You don't have to dress it super fancy. You can dress it down and wear it over a simple t-shirt, jeans and blazer, and it cinches in everything at the waist. I think that this is a must-have in your wardrobe. It sort of does the same thing as a belt, but it adds more of a statement than a belt. I think this is one of my oh, my favorites and I'm so proud of this one I also did some hangers with the leftover scrap fabrics I don't know comment down below let me know if you actually buy these I love reusing and using leftover things I have so much scrap fabric that I feel so bad throwing it out that I am reusing them and I'm thinking of a way of salvaging them this is what I came up with and I also made tags that I'm sending to you guys when you do purchase something I sewed them and it's just scrap fabrics it's beautiful and I think why not reuse them and salvage them I'm now I'm gonna move on to my next accessory it is this super cool under the bust bustier it ties at the back with the tassels here and it also has tassels all the way at the bottom i wore this one over a blazer it made my outfit look a little bit more elevated more chic but in a cool way this is a great harness to put over a dress too just to cinch in everything and to add a little something to a simple black dress white dress any dress and even if you're more out there like me i think that you can wear it with different prints over a floral dress it can give that boho look that we love gypsy vibes very free-spirited i love this one it's another one of my favorites on sizing I have everything small medium large and I'm working on extra small and extra large but for right now it's small medium large I just wanted to point out that everything is handmade and that the prices are according to the work that goes behind it the quality of my fabric I sourced everything I made sure that all of the fabric is beautiful quality you know beautiful quality you pay for what you get they're unique one-of-a-kind pieces so I just wanted to put it out there because I'm sure I'm gonna get some people that might think that everything is you know too expensive but it is a lot of my work it's a lot of my time blood sweat and tears went into this and there are factors as price points I have to buy my fabrics I have to buy all of the tags all of that is all put into uh, one big word excel sheet that my husband created and we just wanted to make sure that everybody is happy um, so anyway let's move on let's continue right behind me since we're sticking into the whole maybe more clothing accessories right behind me i have this i call it my warrior kimono i have this one in long like on the mannequin and i also have it in shorter another piece that i love i wear it over my winter coat i again designed it and created it thinking of layering i love to layer love it to me layering adds dimension to things it elevates it really does elevate your look i wear it either over a dress my coat jeans t-shirt you can totally wear it and i'm going to show you over jeans and t-shirts so that you know not everyone's like okay but you just can't wear that outside every day and you totally can it's how you put things together so i want to share with you that not only can you wear it as an occasion or for an event but you can also wear it for every day so that's the most important thing for me is that you get so much use out of it it's not just sitting in your closet doing absolutely nothing and we don't want that i want you to wear it as much as you can and get as much use as you can out of it you know you're buying something and you want to enjoy it for the money that you put into it so anyway i created this kimono i also hand sewed it i make it by hand i wanted to have a strap here so that it cinches in at the waist to me things that cinch in your waist it's an illusion it creates a beautiful hourglass shape you can either wear it open closed i usually tie mine that's another thing all of my pieces i feel you can mix up and wear together Just have fun and play around with it that's what i wanted i wanted things that you can sort of combine together and that it works so this is the kimono it comes in a longer comes a little bit below the knee mid calf i would say and then I have the shorter one, which is right above the hip. The shorter one is more for the people that like to wear shorter, I say cropped, but a little bit more blazer length. And then the longer one is for people that like to cover up or even like longer pieces. I love longer. That's just what I'm drawn to. But I do know that people like sometimes a little bit more blazer length. And so if you're short or tall, I guess it all depends on your body type and what you think would fit better. I also went with this goldish texture. I thought it was 
unique. It was fun. It was perfect for the holidays, perfect for an event. I think it goes with any jewelry. It's one of those colors that I think can blend well with any other color. So it can go good with navies, with plum colors, burgundies, black browns it is really a universal color so that's why i went towards the gold color and not just a black or one of those simple colors i wanted it to be textured and i also wanted it to have a little bit of some sort of different color than just your ordinary black white and taupe colors that's why i chose this fabric so moving on to my next piece i was telling you what i incorporate in my kimono and so i am wearing one of them on my head I have partnered up with More Arts to create these beautiful handmade headbands. I am so proud of them. I love them so much. We designed them together and I came up with three of them because I do wear so many different hats. And if you're a hat wearer, you know you either wear them black, browns, ivories. So I wanted to make sure that there was a hat band for every hat and that you can just mix them up if you want to wear it with the black one one day. You know, you can totally mix them all up but i wanted to create three of them the one that i'm wearing is the sort of plum one and it ties in the back here it has these beautiful tassels these plum tassels and this is more of a plum colored one it has coins mirrored stuff so if i'll show you it's this one right here and it's just so beautiful with the plum tassels here it's all hand beaded it's like this in the back. These are sort of my prototypes because I'm still in the process. Right now they're on pre-order. They're coming soon. We're really close to exactly what I wanted. Anyway, I wanted to make sure that not only can you wear it as a hat band, you can also wear it as a belt. It was really important for me that you get so much use out of it that it's not just one simple thing. You're paying for a product, but you're getting a lot out of it. And that's really important for me. So when I told you I sometimes take out this belt here, I usually put this belt and i think it just looks so beautiful it adds a little sparkle to everything if you're having an event or something that you want to go to you really want to make your look special and add a little statement then i think that the kimono with the hat bands for this plum one i would either put it on a burgundy hat a plum a purple hat i would even put on a black hat even i would say it can look nice on an ivory hat that one i would put on that then i also created this beautiful one here it's all gold beading and beautiful details it has ivory tassels and this one i want people to wear it with either a taupe an ivory hat even i have this sort of camel colored brownish hat it looks so beautiful on it brown hat i think that this is such a great hat band for those types of colored hats and obviously you can wear it as a belt two in one we love that then my next one that we created is this one here where it's like a multi-colored one i love this i think it looks beautiful on a black hat you can pretty much wear all of them on any colored hat but i envision more of a black one with this one i wear this one also with the kimono i think it's like so beautiful these are my hat bands and i'm so happy hat bands slash belts whatever you guys want to call them right now the tassels are a little bit on the shorter side here like i said it's a prototype i made them that they're extra long so that you can tie them anybody any size shape you can wear them it was really important for me that we get a double use out of them so for my next piece i had designed this again to go over my winter coats always keeping the layering in mind i know it's a little bit more winter it's not something that you would probably wear in the summer then again maybe on a chilly night you could maybe over a dress but i'm gonna show you two of them but i created different ones so it is these beautiful fur collars the reason why i had designed them is I have full of coats. This year, I didn't need another coat. I was like, what can I do to change up my coat, elevate it, make it look luxurious, make it have more of a style. And I was looking for faux fur collars. I couldn't find, I mean, there was some, but I couldn't find the style that I was looking for. I wanted something oversized. I wanted something that really made a statement when you wore it. So I told myself, I'm going to create my own collars. And so I did five of them. I wanted to make sure that there was a color for everybody. So I'm gonna show you, this is one of them. I had a green velvety coat. I wanted to elevate that coat. So I said, why not get a green one? And this is, all of my furs are faux fur. So there's no animals involved. I love my animals and I would never ever 
hurt an animal. So I wanted to create these beautiful oversized, if I can put it over, I wanted to create these beautiful oversized collars. I thought you can either wear it again over your coat, but another thing is beautiful, you can wear it over your blazer or even a dress. You can lean it over one shoulder, give an elegant vibe to your look. All of my pieces just elevate things. So whatever you have in your wardrobe it, and add an extra special something to your look. And that's my whole purpose. You guys know I'm eccentric. I love my accessories. I thought it was just fitting that I do an accessory line. I'm showing you some of them, but it's going to keep on going. And I have so many other things that are coming as well. Back to the collars. I also wanted to make sure that when you put the fur collars that they stay in place. I have on each side these sort of little safety pins with the charms on each side so that you can pin it on the back of your coat here and then it stays in place. So to me that was really important and then not just to throw it on and then you're kind of playing around with it the whole night and it's just falling everywhere. So I wanted to incorporate the little pins to hold them in place. Oh, and the other side of everything is all this sort of velvety and I put a little bit of some padding in there to give a little bit of volume. We have the black one with the black velvet in the back and of course the little charms here with the little things. I have it in blue. We have it in this sort of plum color, plum burgundy. I also wanted to create an ivory one. If you want to put it over an all monochromatic look, you know I love that too. And with an ivory coat, I think it adds a little coziness and it has this boho vibe that I love. I love a faux fur collar. Um, and if you don't wear it this season, we always have next winter. I think that these are timeless. I think that faux fur collars never go out of style. I think that every year it always comes back. So this is definitely one of those, again, Again, that you'll be wearing for years to come. Moving on to another one of my favorites. I keep saying <laughs> another one of my favorites because they are ones that I created. So to me, I wouldn't create something that I didn't like or I wouldn't wear. I love my oversized bags and I thought of creating a tote bag. It's my go-to bag, whether I'm running errands or you want to put a whole bunch of things in. If you're at school, you want your laptop. I think that a tote bag is the way to go. So I end up creating this beautiful tote bag. I wear it all the time. I wore it on a sort of getaway that I went with my husband and the guy who took out my bags was telling me how beautiful my bags were and I was like, thank you, I created it. I wanted to make sure that it has all the beautiful textures, it has dimension and that you have a little pocket here in the front. Inside, again, it's all different fabrics. It's sort of rigid, but not too rigid. I wanted it to not be super soft, but I didn't want it to be hard like totally stiff but I didn't want it to keep its shape also I love to hold my bags more like this uh, versus other people who like to wear it more on their shoulders so it was important for me to create short handles and also for the people who like it more as a shoulder bag to have longer straps as well so you can wear it on your shoulder like this I love to mix my patterns and love to mix my colors I thought that this was exactly something that I love and that a lot of people can get great use out of it you can wear it in the winter in the summertime it's just a universal bag it's not necessarily off season you can only wear it in the winter or fall since it has a lot of color you can definitely wear this in the summer as well this is my tote bag. So now we're heading into, you guys can see, I created this beautiful necklace here. I did it in a sort of plum color. That was my first one. It was my trial. What I do is I always do one, test it out, see how it's working, how it fits, and then I create other ones. So this was my test necklace. And then I decided to make a black one with turquoise beading. I wanted to create something that was a little bit more versatile and that anyone can wear and get use out of. And it has this turquoise stone here, the silver beading all around the collar here and right at the front. And then it has the tassels at the bottom. I wanted to make sure that you can tie it either loose, wear it more like a choker. Anyone can wear it however they want. There's these faux leather straps at the back here. And then there's this faux leather at the back of these i call it like a bib necklace i think it's definitely a statement if you're going to a wedding or an event with a beautiful black dress oh this is so good or you wear it with like a blazer a white t-shirt black t-shirt jeans it just elevates your look moving on to my next piece if you've been watching me for a while you have seen this in at least one or two of my videos i wore these and i got quite a bit of people asking me where i got them and i had made them so i'm going to show you 
they are these chopsticks that I wear in my hair. I had handmade them. I was getting people asking, where did you get them? So I decided to make more. I end up making burgundy ones. There are brown ones and there are black ones. It adds a little sparkle. It adds a little femininity to your hair. It adds a little touch of something, whether you're wearing a hair bun or your hair half up. It adds a little bling to your hair. They're beautiful. They're elegant. They're not too much. Accessorizing means head to toe. So to me it's either a hat, a headband, some chopsticks in your hair. If you want to keep your hair out of your face it's a beautiful way to do it. So anyway I have three colors in these. I think the burgundy ones are my favorites but I love them all nonetheless. I created them like I said so to me all of them is what I would wear. So now we're going to head into the home decor. I have a few pieces that are my favorites and I think that would look beautiful in any home. You can start with a simple base and then add these things and it elevates the look of your home. So let me start off with my first one. I love things that are different, unique, and my pillows have to be fun and unique and quirky as well. So I end up creating this super long log pillow. I thought creating a long one would be perfect if you have already your pillows, whether it's on your bed, on your couch, even on a bench. I had envisioned this pillow on my bench at the end of the bed or even my bench in the dining room. It's perfect. You have your bench, you put that long pillow and you don't need anything else. It's just done, done and you're good. I created this purple one and I created it in a navy blue and a black one as well. I have seen no one sell long log pillows this big. I put a zipper here. All of my pillows come with a zipper so you can take out whatever pillow stuffing inside and you can wash them if ever you want to wash them. That was important for me, but for pillows like this, what I did to stuff mine, I ended up buying, and I think you saw this in one of my videos, I had done this long log pillow as well, but it wasn't as big as this. I ended up buying just regular pillows, cut them open, and then took the foam out. So this is pretty much maybe one, one and a half pillow of foam, and I just stuffed it in there, and it created this. It comes with just the pillow covers. I am not selling the pillows inside for right now. Maybe at some point I will. It's easier to send by mail. It's less of a hassle for me. It comes with just the pillow covers. I just wanted to make that clear. So this is my first and my favorite piece when it comes to the pillows. They're just fun, quirky, unique, and can look great anywhere. I say on a bed as well. Like if you have a king bed, I have a king bed, so I think on a king bed or even queen this is so perfect to finish off your stack of pillows also if you have a couch and you don't want a whole bunch of pillows but you still want to add a little pop of color or a touch of something i think even on a couch can look really like on a three-seater couch i think this can look so beautiful as well i obviously chose beautiful upholstery fabric all of my fabrics are hand sourced by me i went looking everywhere for you to me fabrics and prints and colors are beautiful. I want things to look luxurious. That's my first pillow. Moving on to my next pillow. This is also one of my favorites. This is one of them that I put either downstairs on my couch. I've also put it in my bedroom. It's just a simple square shaped pillow, but the fabric is exceptional. It is just so beautiful, luxurious. It's one of those pillows that I feel can blend in beautifully with any other color. Whether you have a leopard pillow, you can mix in some of my other Koakaya pillows. I think that this is such a great universal pillow that will definitely add some sort of luxe and luxury feel. I know sometimes in my home I tend to go more towards earthy tones, but I wanted to create something different and we've seen all the boho stuff going around. We've seen all the neutral colors and I feel I'm heading more towards the more luxury. I'll always love my boho and I'll always love my ethnic pieces. I will definitely keep that. But I did want a little bit of some texture and luxurious feel in my home. But anyway, this is another one of my favorite pillows. Moving on to another one of my favorites. It is this oversized pillow. I love these for the bedroom, even the couch. These two paired together for some reason look so beautiful. It has this gold pattern. I love it. It has a neutral color and in the back here I wanted to put a different fabric here. Obviously all of my pillows have zippers at the bottom so that you can wash them if you have a baby or an animal, if you have a pet. 
it's a pillow that can go with any other pillow so those are pretty much all three of my favorite pillows those are the ones that i love so now we're going to move into the jewelry part i partnered up with Shelly Creates and I was so happy that she wanted to be in my store. I worked with her in the past and I just loved her jewelry so to me it was important to have some of my favorite pieces that I have in my store. Like your one-stop shop where if you're looking for the perfect accessory for your home that it's all on my website. I wanted to have some of her beautiful pieces and I chose my favorite ones. I have some earrings from her. I also have some necklace. I have this one here which is so beautiful. Then this one as well and then just this plain one. I wanted to make sure that you can have fun, play around with them and stack them as well. So there's necklaces and there's also earrings. So I'm gonna put a picture up right here somewhere of my favorite earrings and there are these sunray earrings. They fall beautifully if you're looking to stack your earrings as well. And you can even put it on the top to create a halo on top of your ear. There are ones that you can wear every day just like you can dress them up. Those were my favorite ones. I also love these sort of triangle spike ones. So mixing in that with the snake ones creates a cool look to your ear. Those are my favorite ones but there are so many. Everything that I chose that's on the site I specifically chose because I love them, I would wear them, and to be honest, I'm literally probably going to keep half of those because I love them so much. <laughs> I want some for me too. That's the problem when you're creating, you want to keep everything for yourself and you don't want to sell anything, So, but that's a problem. There's some long dangly ones for those who like a little bit more, you know, dangle to their ears. There's ones that are a little bit smaller. I have a smaller raise as well so that it's not so oversized. I wanted to make sure that everyone can find something on my shop. To me, that was really important. Blending in the home decor mixed in with the fashion and the accessories. I'm also probably going to be having some clothing as well. That's coming more in the springtime, but I will be sure to share with you when I do get everything. But as of right now, I'm sticking to accessories. Another home decor piece that I wanted to share with you is um, I have two of. They are these beautiful vintage African wood bowls. These are one of a kind pieces. They are so unique and they look beautiful in any home on a council table, on a dresser, even on your dining table if you want to create some high low effect on there. I think it's one of those it just stands on its own kind of piece. Um, maybe with my garlands as well from Koakaya. I have a hard time selling them. That's how beautiful they are. I want to keep them, but I think that someone else will enjoy them and love them in their own home. Anyway, that is pretty much it when it comes to some of my favorite pieces. I can keep going on and on, but I wanted to share with you my news. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. If you guys are interested, you can join the newsletter at the bottom of my site. I'll be able to give you updates on all my products. So if you're interested, go sign up. Oh, another thing. Before I go, I have to share this story. I know I've been rambling on about all my products, but I had to share this story because it really touched my heart. And I'm not sure if... Um, anyway, it, it just really touched my heart. Last weekend, I ended up going with some of my family members. We ended up going to this Christmas market in St. Stash. We go there once in a while, whether it's to go to the flea markets. You have come with me to the flea market once. We've been to this little pizza place there, and it's our go-to where it's just very casual, like a cute little restaurant, and the pizza is amazing. We end up going in there, so it's me and my husband that go in first, and you know there's a whole bunch of employees sort of behind the counter and then there's a woman that says to me she's like Katya and I was like like oh gosh I'm like do I know her and I can't remember and I'm like yes <laughs> and she's like I follow you on YouTube and she's like I'm a fan of yours and I literally oh I just had to hug her first of all I was having the worst day ever and she I'm gonna sort of fast forward to the end I was saying bye to her and I was saying how happy I was to have met her and she offered me this beautiful beaded bracelet here that I believe she made and I think she has an Etsy shop so if she does I'll link everything down below but she offered me this beautiful bracelet and no joke was gonna start crying I was holding in my tears because I didn't want to look like a crazy person but as soon as I got out I swear there was waterworks coming down because she l has no idea how much she touched my heart first of all it was amazing to meet one of you people it was amazing to meet her and it was just amazing to meet one of my my family you know it was just amazing to actually see someone that 
uh, is part of the family, part of the community. That was first off. But second of all, it was one of those days sometimes you put so much energy and effort and love into things and sometimes you feel that you're dealing with things on your own and that you feel why am I doing all these things there's a lot of questions that come into mind and I think that that day I was having a really hard time with feeling like I matter sometimes you know it's it, I think we all struggle with that feeling like we're accepted that we're loved the things that we're doing that there are people that do appreciate it and that you don't just give 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 and then sometimes you feel as though it's not a give and take it's sometimes a lot of people are I call them vampires you know some people are very draining people to take and take and take and sometimes are not as present for you as you are for them. I give because I love people and I give because I want to make people happy and to me it comes from the bottom of my heart and I don't expect anything but sometimes you feel that you just feel like you don't matter. So anyway <laughs> to make a long story short that day I so needed that and I wanted to say a big thank you to her because she really touched my heart and um I don't want to get emotional, but it, it really meant a lot to me because I needed to hear that. I needed to feel like I mattered. You know, I think we all struggle with that. And um, I'm just so appreciative that I got to meet her. I'll definitely be going back to that pizza place. Uh, I'll put the links down below if I can find the name of the pizza place. It is such a cute very small pizza place but anyway it was amazing and i'm just so grateful that i got to meet one of you i hope i get at one point opportunities to meet all of you like you know behind the screen there's people behind your messages i would love to at some point somehow make it happen and meet some of you because it really does touch my heart so i just wanted to say that to close it all off I love you guys and I love what I do. I will keep doing it. It felt good to take a little break. And I hope you guys understand that I had to take that little break to start my other little excursions and project, you know, start a new little journey. But don't worry, I'll still be doing my DIYs. But I love so many things that it's hard for me to narrow things down all the time. And I love you so much and it feels good to be back. I can't wait to do my next video. Have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Love you so much. Mwah. Bye.